Good evening. Some months ago, I participated in a panel in Damascata and uh, happened to be with Bunny McBride, and Donna Loring, and Colin Sargent. And Colin asked me if I knew about a new anthology that was coming out called Port City Poems. Some of you may be familiar with that, as it is out in print now. And Colin heard me speak and read some poetry at that event. He said, why don't you submit to the anthology? And I said, well, how long do I have? And he said, well, two days. Uh, so I went home, and I, he said, what do you want to write about? And I said, well, you know, that thing about Fort Loyal, they always called it a massacre. Fort Loyal used to be at the bottom of Munjoy Hill here in Portland. And it always bothered me that there was this sign that was there for years and years by the old Jordan's Meats uh, factory. It was encased in glass on this nice sturdy wood frame. And it said, here's the site of the Fort Loyal massacre. And I had even contacted Jordan's Meats at one point, feeling bold, and told them how I felt about having uh, such a thing there, because it, it seemed one-sided and unfair. As a Native person, we're all very familiar with the fact that most of the fighting, if, if uh, the uh, Europeans won, it was a victory, and if the Native people won the battle, it was a massacre. So for the anthology, I wrote a song about the history of Portland and um, the Fort Loyal Massacre, and uh, I don't know if you're aware, but Portland actually has had several names uh, over the years. Uh, the native name for it uh, is uh, Machgon. So this is song for Machgon. Machgon, your truest name before the French and English came to raid the land of her tallest trees and pull the fish from her blue knee, the fur they took in trade for pots and drink, and rusty blades could not sate their endless hunger or abate their supernatural greed. O oh, Matchgon, your name is dust. You have begun to bleed. Casco now is how they call the great neck as the mighty trees fall. Land divided among men is stolen once again. Weymouth kidnaps five of us before Gorgeous and John Mason arrive to claim the eastern lands, and now we die and die. Treaties cannot last when traitors block the fish from moving past. Cows trample our corn, yet you say we are a thorn in your side. You are the ones who cannot abide by your own laws. When we fight, we have just cause to grieve for Matchgon and those who now walk beyond this world. French or English, we must choose, or so you say, if not to lose the land we hold most dear. We come away only to starve anew, and now our hearts are hard. In spring of 1690, we gathered with Castine, our anger risen, like the streams you choked with nets to starve our kin. We followed one trusted chief whose child the baron sought to keep. Madaka Wando leads the men, and killing will begin. Just for today, we are many and shall break our anger on your flesh, burn your walls to nothingness. 400 fighting men and more with French to batter down the door. We come to match gone to prove Fort Loyal cannot stand against our warring hand. And English is a worse brigand than any Frenchman, so they tell us when we fight and burn your forts down in the night. We are not the ones you trusted to survive. White flag waved before your eyes. That was Berneef in charge of keeping order and giving quarter. Trust is almost always wise, but not to trust your English lies. Thus you learn the bitter price you pay for our forgiveness. Six wars were fought here, laying claim to land that many tried to tame. 
until we finally surrendered Penobscots, Mi'kmaq, Maliseet, Abenaki with little left, you had not plundered from our Dawnland home. The beaver wars were fought for pelts. King Philip's wore abuse of trade and Squando's child drowned just to see if he could swim like some wild river otter. Then scalp hunters seeking bounty in the south returned to seek us out. King William's war fought for land. Fort William Henry could not stand against a Benakian French who drove the English from the lower Kennebec. In 1701, Queen Anne's war came to our shores when once again French and English wanted more and more and more. Greedy bullets, dripping blades, smoking battlements laid waste, and always we must take a side, knowing we can no longer hide from settlers thick as leaves on trees, coveting everything they see. Dummer's War for William Dummer, who sent Colonel Westbrook to burn our homes and fields and starve us out. Norge Walk fell, 100 dead. Pig Walk it too, and if you wore the other shoe, it would be dipped in red. At last, your war with France burned high for seven years. We had nothing left to lose when forced to choose between the evils that befell our people. Three and four of us was dead, gone to the wind. Finally, you said, the line was drawn in 1759, those words you give to white man's time, our demise, battle victorious, so-called history and glory. We fought for land paid in blood and bone. Match gone, just one of many. First become Casco, then Old Falmouth, years wore on, and Portland, Maine became the name. The massacre you blame us for is but the story of your shame. Those sins for which you must atone, match gone was not your own. Thank you.